for watching another episode of the Philip Scott Show. My name is Danielle DeVita. I have a video for you and I think that it's going to be riveting. And I don't know why I said riveting, but I think that it's going to be a really good video. Um, I've come across this video as I was working on some content. I just came up on my feed. I'm like, huh, wow. Um, this is a South African couple, the Max, M-A-H-K-S. Um, and they were talking about what men wish they could say to women and it's something i i brought up on my channel a couple of times or i can't i don't remember if it was a video i posted here or on my youtube channel mrs daniel devita or on my podcast but i was saying that the number one thing men want is uh respect and when i go back and i look at um some of the uh, okay so i did that eva marcel video on here and a lot of women were just like confused Oh, well, what's the problem? You know, she's just joking. It's not that serious. A lot of times we as women, we have this disconnect. It's not about what we think, about how we thought that it was, um, you know, I wasn't being disrespectful. I didn't think I was being disrespectful. I didn't think I was embarrassing you. I thought I was joking. I didn't see it being that serious. Um, but it's really what the man wants. And the reason why I say this is because it's how he feels. So if it's someone that you love and he feels a certain way, your job is to honor that 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 feeling, respect that feeling. Even if you don't agree, you respect it and you make changes to make sure he doesn't feel that way. The reason why I'm providing my commentary now because I won't do it afterwards. Um, I think so many women, uh, and it's going to be fully explained in this video, I think they're going to explain it more eloquently. But I wanted to hit home on something um, here because a lot of times women don't know when to pick their battles. And I think you need to understand that if it's not something that's going to, um, challenge a fundamental issue, then you really don't have to have an argument. I can't remember the last time I argued with my husband and, um, like we discuss, we, you know, have repartee, you know, witty comments. Um, we, you know, we disagree, but we're not arguing with each other. We're not yelling at each other. But I think that it's important because people think that it's not possible, but it is possible. Um, and this is a couple that I can say, this is a good way to model how you have a disagreement um, and how I believe that she's very feminine. And I think this is how you should respond when a man is exposing himself and telling how he feels instead of shooting down how he feels you respect it and she does a good job of doing this so i'm going to go ahead and go into this video and let you watch it it's wonderful and they will fully explain everything so i hope that you open up your your ears and your heart to be able to receive what it is that they're saying take care um ladies number one of what we wish you knew all a guy wants is something that is very cliche, but absolutely important. Respect. Let me give you an example. Mm. When boys are growing up, mm. if you've seen them playing in the playground or, or the kind of toys that they get or, or the kind of TV shows that they watch, nine times out of 10, it's about superheroes. Mm. There's something in boys that they identify with wanting to be a superhero. It's not an ego thing. Mm -hmm. We want to be your hero. I want to be a hero in your life. I want you to, to take me seriously. I want you to come to me for advice. I want you to, you know, I want to feel like, man, the, my, my, my woman really respects me. That's all it is. Mm -hmm. It's just a respect thing. I'm not accusing my wife of not respecting me because she really does respect me. But there are those unwritten things sometimes, right? Mm -hmm. That is like a joke that's not so funny to me, right? That could be funny to you or it could be, you know, um, you. so something that, that we deal with and have been recently, you know, um, because we're best friends, right? My wife could, 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 could be going through like a really massive thing in her life. Mm -hmm. And I want to be the first one that she tells, you know, I want, I want for us to be able to, because that, that makes me feel like a hero and inadvertently makes me feel respected. Hmm. So I think <laughs> you're proud of yourself. No. You're like, <laughs> did you see that? 
I just feel like I put that quite succinctly. <laughs> no, you did. Yeah. So I think, so what's interesting with the respect thing, and, and I think we, we spoke about it when the folks were here. Yeah. So from a woman's perspective, I've always known that, you know, that's what men want. That's what they crave. You know, they want to be respected. And I think respect also looks different because we, we the grew interpretation up. Of the interpretation of, of and respect itself you know because we we grew up in different families some of the things that we really struggled with as far as respect is concerned i didn't think they were disrespect mm. you know i'll give you an example not that you know mm. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes, you know, but See, you but, know you're but, gonna make but, me put translations. Just tell them what manganga is. Manganga is is it to be stubborn? No. No. To be argumentative. 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 Yeah. So I don't think I'm argumentative. Really? As In much as much as I think I'm, I am highly opinion opinionated. Nated. Do you know what I mean? So so I think there's a thin line between being um what's the word well no let's so so okay so 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 i think i think i have an opinion i think i'm very i mean i've got a very strong personality i'm yes. very assertive yes you know and and I which think, is what i love about you and i think sometimes and that's what possibly modern women could be struggling with possibly. you know because back in the day our parents were not that they were mute but I think, or maybe it was also choosing their battles wisely. Do you know what I mean? Because really, I find that, you know, our generation is really highly opinionated and that could come across as disrespect to your other half. I don't find you disrespectful. Mm. I find you unnecessary sometimes. And there's a difference, right? I said to you, babe, I could literally be like, Yo, this movie is an hour and a half long. And she'll be like, no, it's not. Wabona. <laughs> That's not necessary, you know. Yeah. I could be like, yo, that um man, that guy that drives that blue car, it's not blue, it's turquoise. Do you see? Mm. It's unnecessary. And that I can know, get I where that comes it can from, get to no. a point where you're just like, like really, we mm. like we don't you don't have to counter mm. everything I say, I get you know, you. I get um, you. and it, from your side, you don't think that you're being disrespectful mm. um, I, and I'm not accusing you of being disrespectful. Mm. I'm telling you from a guy's point of view, it can feel disrespectful because mm. it's just like, I can't say anything, even innocently, you know, without you being like, cause it just feels like, and it's so weird, babe, that yeah. I mean, till today, I still don't think that it, it's disrespect. Okay. But because I know it makes you feel zhuang zhuang. Yeah. I, I honor you. Yeah. So out of respect for you. For sure. For, for my wishes. For your wishes. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, so it's something that we are still working on. Yeah. Well, I'm working on just in we. terms of just being mindful for me.